this is Dorothy with Love Scrapbooking, and today I'm going to show you the Sweet Memories Scrapbook Workshop. So this is the the other scrapbook workshop in the January February Close to My Heart catalog. So I already showed you the Let's Party, and I made four layouts for that one, um, my three the regular way, and then I used leftovers for my fourth one. Now this is the sticker page for Sweet Memories, and these are the background and texture papers. Look at that beautiful mulberry, and it's got, you know, really pretty strips, zip strips, and this is the ledger page, which we have two, and we've got a cluster already printed in the bottom corner, and I love all those cameras. Now, this is a great background for pictures, as is this periwinkle, real fine design. These are the die cuts that are marked on the back which project they go to. When you don't see a zip strip in the kit, that means this is exclusive paper. You're not going to find this anyplace else. So that one and the green one and that um, slight amount of texture, those are both exclusive papers. Now this is for project one, those die cuts, those uh, pie shaped. And we've got cardstock. So we've got the mulberry and mink and charcoal. Charcoal is not listed as a color on the zip strip, but it's a neutral. And then of course we've got some white daisy. So off camera, I'm going to go ahead and do all the cutting and I will also pop out all the die cuts and hopefully put them with their, their appropriate project number. So we've got three projects to split up. So I've already gone ahead and done all my cutting and all my die cuts. I tried to segregate them in the right pile. And we have uh, one of the things that's it's an option but they use it is the Distressed Oxide and it's uh, Victorian Velvet, I think is the color. So it's a real good match for that mulberry color that comes with this kit. And you see that they're using the ledger paper, the um, background paper for uh, base pages. And we've got a big charcoal that is going to be a background for pictures, and we've got all of these pie shapes that are going to get stacked according, according to, well, I'm just going by what is shown to me on the picture. So now those two pieces are getting stacked together. Um, they're all, all the pies are one color. Uh, I mean, uh, one size, but the that one is smaller, and it goes um, in the periwinkle background. So it's kind of a double stack. So we've got lots and lots of little pieces here. We have arrows and hearts and leaves and little tags and... Uh, all sorts of things. So we've got, we're going to be using those that I'm pointing to. We're going to be using those stickers for this page. So I try to look for them before I go searching while I'm trying to, to actually do the layout for the page. Because holy moly, I can, I can not see them when I'm under any pressure. Okay, so I'm going to use the Victorian Velvet. And I'm just going to make a little highlight uh, in a couple of corners, and I'm using the circular motion. I kind of tap off the initial um, pickup because it it will make kind of a, too dark of a blob, so I kind of tap it off and then start there. So I'm just adding some highlights where, kind of judging where they're going to go, and then I put an extra one where I decided I wanted one because I kind of like those. They're very subtle. And uh, but just add a little bit of depth to to the elements. Okay, the zip strip is going to go on top there, and I'm just following 
one of the lines. I'm trying to get it straight, too. So there we go. And so pretty. These colors are really, really lovely. And this one is the stacked pie. Isn't it pretty? Of course I run out. Try to have an extra one on hand. And I'm starting at the top and working down because they get stacked on top of each other. So, and they, <coughs> excuse me, I'm putting a little anti-static powder on the far corner because the picture actually, background actually goes up under there. So I need to be able to lift it up. And these kind of zigzag their way down. This is kind of a fun element for this page. A little different using pie shapes. We don't do that very often. I love that beautiful, it's kind of like your grandmother's wallpaper design. So we've got some other elements you can see that are going to go over in the corner there. So I'm trying to find them. We've got a little heart. We've got this pretty blue flower. And we're tucking a small circle and I'm adding a little touch of color to it. And I like the the leaves that go on here also. So I'm going to put the leaves down and then I'm going to add this periwinkle sticker on top of it. And we've got a periwinkle heart. Such pretty design, so delicate. So I like that they had already printed a uh, place to put a date or place or family name. And I'm going ahead and putting my background for some of the pictures and tucking them under my pie shapes. And I'm just kind of giving a measure to make sure that things are straight. And it's going over like an inch and three-fourths. And the nice thing about the, the uh, ledger paper is you've already got lines as go-bys. So you don't have to do too much measuring. You can just go by the lines. So I'm going to pull out my little heart and move it over a tad. So I'm putting the... A perfect day sticker and then another that's a die cut it's a little hard to tell some of the die cuts from the stickers which one to use at least I had a little bit of a problem with it so I'm just kind of going by what what goes here and there I've got some more hearts now, I will say that on this page, I forgot about the hearts on that little kind of toffee-colored die-cut sheet that's kind of, it's um, almost a card cardstock. It's, no, it's heavier than cardstock. Uh, and those, I forgot to use those, and I was using what I thought were the right colors, but, um, you know, I put some of the wrong hearts in the wrong place. Does it make a difference? Not really, you know, it's just, uh, you know, then when you're doing layout number three and you're missing a heart, you have to go back to another layout and say, okay, did I use the wrong thing here? Which is what I ended up doing. So I'm putting my little tags um, to go with the pictures. And I'm adding, this is a pretty old family reunion picture. And um, I will say, I'm not absolutely positive, but I would say it's from the early, early to mid 80s. 
because some of the nieces and nephews weren't even in the picture yet, or some of the nieces weren't in the picture yet. So, and I was way younger. <laughs> I think I was in my 30s there. So, and we've got a fun thing that says snapshots. Now, you could put that in a different place and use that opening, that kind of tag as a, as a date. Um, I've got to look up the date for that. Try to find the negatives because they were, that was long before digital, digital photos. So here we're going to do very similar to the second page, except this one gets a big charcoal background for photos. Once again, I kind of like the ledger paper because there's nice lines to go by. Now the pie shapes are going to go over on the side here. Once again, getting stacked, but this time over on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side. So you can use your own discretion as to exactly how you want to put these. and make them zigzag or, or go in a line or however however you like, whatever you, um, you know, whatever suits your, your desires. So I'm going to add a little bit of the coloring. And I want to add a little up in the corner there too. It's like a little blush. Not really, I really like that technique. So I'm glad we're doing that more and more. And there's my little green. And then we're gonna have a bit of a cluster down here. And I'm gonna pop it up. And I'm using the thicker, thicker foam tape to pop it up. I just love how all these colors just go so beautifully together. So we're going to add some leaves. And just so nice that everything just kind of so goes beautifully together. And we've got some more hearts. And this is going to be like a little, um, little journaling tags that are just going to go get stacked in the corner here. So like I said, I need to add, I need to find out what the date was for, for those pictures. So I need to talk with somebody or find, find the negatives. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to find those negatives, but, uh, my brother or sister will remember vaguely what year it is. They can tell by the kids' age, their kids. I didn't have any, didn't have a child at that time. So that's that's a great go by, is you know being able to tell how old your kid was, at that time. So I'm just using a little any static pouch, powder to put on the top of sweet memories, and so I can tuck some pictures behind there, and we've got a big family photo in front of uh, the house. We took them in all different places. So mom was kind of directing. And I, I will give my mother credit. She did what she could to get pictures for the family. And she's always been really good about getting a picture of she and dad every year so that they had, you know, good pictures, number one, to give us kids during Christmas, uh, but to, you know, kind of document their their life together and so that's the, all the girls playing chorus line here and having fun and then of course the more formal picture those boys are well into their 40s now <laughs> 
just to let you know how long ago that was. And there's my niece, that's my sister's daughter who's standing behind her, who's sticking her tongue out and flapping her ears at, at somebody off camera. So I'm trying to figure out what to do here because I didn't quite have pictures. I kind of cropped things down as best as I could without cutting off elbows. Um, so I'm just trimming it down to kind of fit in here better. And then I've got empty spaces, which sometimes empty space, sometimes negative space is good. Sometimes it just kind of drives you crazy. I was kind of unsure as to what to do because I haven't done the other layout yet. And so I didn't want to just pick out a sticker because maybe, you know, it would be better suited in another one of the layouts. So going ahead and putting down <coughs> the... Uh, rest of the die cuts and then I've got that die cut actually belonged over the arrow belonged over in three and I'm trying to I'm trying to find a place to put them not realizing that they had they actually go to the uh, another project so silly person that I am yeah, I'm trying to figure it out, and it just doesn't happen. It's because it doesn't go there, silly goose. So I'm also trying to figure out what to do with... See, I'm kind of going over, trying to find a home for that, and then I find that it does go to another project, which is on the back, right? You could look on the back of the piece and see, Dorothy. Ah! Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes I drive myself crazy. So we have a little sticker going there. And then I kind of thought, you know, I've got some of these acrylic shapes that um, I went to try to find that I could use up in that one spot. I just don't like that one dark spot being up there so obvious. So I'll show you what I do for that in a second. And I'm, I use my antique pink tri-blend marker and I had white uh, acrylics and I actually colored them with tri-blend marker the tri-blend marker which I've got to go over because they draw they actually draw so here's the the uh, acrylics that I were talk that I talked about they were white I colored them in the antique pink tri-blend marker the color isn't wiping off it needs to I need a second coat to just kind of fill in and I thought the love this was perfect with it. So I hope you like my idea of um, using some previous pieces that I had. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.